99% deep divers of the comments under all of my videos are positive. But there's always the 1% trying to send me bad energy. And I say trying because they're trying to do it, but it doesn't affect me. Like if you wish me bad luck or if you send a curse my way, I got news for you. Like I'm a wizard. I'm born on March 3rd. Like we just block that shit. Like, oh, oh, it doesn't harm us, baby. Oh, no. <laughs>
to someone else. Now, many people invoke negative entities to inflict harm on someone they don't like, right? They do rituals. This actually goes on. So if you've been a victim of that, I'm here to remind you, remind yourself, deep divers, you're not a victim. You are a hero of your own story. Now, to remove a curse or bad luck forever in your life, it starts by realizing this. It only works, deep divers, okay? This is how they get you, okay? It only works if you believe in it, okay? If I was to tell you, deep divers, you're going to be poor all of your life. You're going to be unwell all your life. Bad luck is going to swarm all around you for eternity. Oh no, Ralph. Say it ain't so. Yes, it is so. Now, placebo effect. If you believe in what I'm telling you, you will create that reality. Okay? So, it only works if you believe in it. It's all BS belief systems. Belief is the software that creates our reality. A lot of the times, it works like this. Let's just say... Your life isn't going great. And you're like, oh my gosh, I think someone cursed me. I think someone sent bad luck my way. Now, if you believe you are going through suffering because of what someone else did to you or said to you or is wishing for you, you will create that reality. Deep divers to remove a curse or bad luck forever. If I'm going through a hard time, I don't say, oh, it's because someone cursed me. I don't even say it's because the universe cursed me. And definitely not because the cat down the road cursed me. I say it is what it is. I take responsibility and I deal with it. I am the power. I am God. Now, because I've stopped externalizing power, even if a so-called bad thing happens to me, I don't say it's because of someone else. Or it's because of the universe. No, I say it is what it is. So can you see how I've just removed a curse and bad luck forever? Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Because I have stopped describing intent. If you are going through inner turmoil, if everything is breaking, you're holding glasses and they just keep dropping from your hand and you're like, oh my gosh, I think someone's cursed me. Why am I attracting all of this bad luck? If you are ascribing intent, if you're like, oh, maybe it's because they did this to me or they did that to me. Now you feel like a victim. Now you are in their chokehold. I say, actually, no, it's not because of anybody. It just is what it is. So I don't externalize power. How to remove a curse and bad luck forever deep divers there is no bad luck or curse in your life without your permission nothing can affect you without your permission no entity can affect you without your permission even your spirit guides they can help your life but you have to give your own consent for that to happen that's why i always invite entities that can help me become my greatest version into my reality it's the same way when you have negative entities you give them permission to cast a spell on you you give them permission to cast a curse on you you give them a, you give them permission to send bad luck your way by giving them the authority to do so they can't do it without your permission you are the gatekeeper of your own wellness, okay? So start becoming more aware of that concept to really remove a curse and bad luck from your life forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever. Deep divers, anytime you feel cursed, like sometimes you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, my life is so cursed. 
I got no followers on YouTube. Is it that bad, deep divers? Look, shit happens every single day. And it's not a matter of good luck or bad luck. It's a learning experience. What? Say it again, Ralph. Shit happens every single day. And it's got nothing to do with good luck or bad luck. It's a learning experience. So if I'm walking and I trip up and I twist my ankle, someone might say, oh, that's bad luck, Ralph. I say, no, it's a learning experience because I wasn't paying attention. So can you see how I've stopped, I've stopped <laughs> externalizing power and now I am the power and therefore there is no curse or bad luck? Can you see that? But if it happened to someone else, they could say, oh, I injured myself because a curse was put on me or I'm, I'm attracting bad luck from someone else who doesn't want to see me win. Right? So all of a sudden, you are making it bigger than it actually is because you are externalizing your power. You are handing it over to remove a curse and bad luck forever. Realize shit happens, okay? Some people are ill. It doesn't mean they're a bad person, deep divers. It doesn't mean that someone has put a curse on them. It just is what it is, okay? How to remove a curse, deep divers, and bad luck from your life forever. Now, spelling. We are living in a world full of magic. Even the language we use is full of magic. When a child goes to school, they learn how to spell. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. I'm a wizard, deep divers. I'm real good with words. You see, words can heal us or they can hurt us. We say curse words. Do you know why we say curse words? Because... Words have power. You remember, deep divers, sticks and stones may break. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. They lied. Words can hurt you because words can heal you or words can destroy you. How you speak to someone, what you say to them can bless them or it can curse them. OK, and that's where we get the word, the expression curse words. OK. So, words have power to remove a curse and bad luck, and bad luck, deep divers, and bad luck forever. Start changing the spelling. Start to change the spelling. Start to change the words you use towards yourself. So, if you wake up with an expression like this, I'm no good. I hate myself. I'm a terrible person. I'm not worthy of love. You are actually cursing yourself because it's not helping you become your greatest version. If you say this, however, deep divers, I love myself. I am magnificent. I am worthy of all the abundance in the world. I am healthy. I am thankful to be alive. Can you see now you're blessing yourself and you're removing any curse and bad luck? forever just by changing the words you use and let's just say someone does throw they do throw a curse word at you they hurl it at you they're like you mother beep 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 now you can just say i don't accept that okay that's how to remove a curse and bad luck forever say i do not accept your curse then it goes straight back to them and they've got to deal with it Deep divers, how to remove a curse and bad luck forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Create your own reality. If you aren't creating your own reality, you are helping build someone else's. And that's why a lot of people attract bad luck and curses because they're in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong people with the wrong state of mind. We can actually make a song of that, right? Realize you are a co-creator. That's what they don't want you to know in this matrix. You can create any reality you want. So a lot of people can say, I was born into a poor family. I was cursed, right? You've heard a lot of people say this, right? Deep divers. 
I had to pick cockroaches out of my breakfast. I'm cursed, Ralph. I'm always attracting bad luck. Now, another person could go through the exact same experience, but they can rise above it because they can use that hardship and transform it into something beautiful and make it and say, actually, this adversity only made me stronger. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And that's how to remove a curse and bad luck forever. It's all a matter of perspective. It's all a matter of perception. You see, perception creates your reality. To remove a curse and bad luck forever, start changing your perception. Start changing how you see things. Even if you are going through misfortune right now and suffering, there's always some gold to be Oh, deep divers. There's always some gold to be extracted from that experience. That's how to remove the curse. And bad luck forever. So if you injured yourself, one might say, oh, I'm cursed, right? But you remove that curse if you say, actually, this injury taught me how to be more careful next time. So instead of saying, why is this happening to me? You say, what is this teaching me? Why is this happening to me? No, you say, what is the universe wanting me to know in this experience? Deep divers, how to remove a curse and bad luck forever. Realize this today. Growing up, you could actually reverse the call, right? Reverse charge calls and they would have to pay for the for the phone bill, okay? Well, that's how energy works. So if someone is hurling abuse at you, cursing you, what you can do is a reverse charge call and you send that energy straight back to them, okay? And anytime you have a negative person who is cursing you every single day, sending bad luck to you, negative energy, I want you to, I want you to be confident during this experience to say, actually, I'm not going to allow them to take away my peace of mind. Learn silence. Now they have to hear themselves and now you have removed a curse and bad luck forever. It now is a reverse charge call. You are reversing the energy and they have to deal with a curse they have sent you. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Deep divers how to remove a curse and bad luck forever. If you realize that you have the power to mold life into whatever you want, it's a question of where you are placing your focus today. It's the question of what you are feeding in today to determine if the curse will stay with you or not. To remove a curse, deep divers, and bad luck forever, Stop feeding into what is not serving you because if you do, that will become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So when things aren't going your way, when things are breaking, things are crashing, don't blame yourself. Realize some things are out of our control. Don't take it personally. And all of a sudden, now you feel very powerful because you're like, actually, it's okay, I can bounce back. You see, the curse only affects you when you think, actually, I've been jinxed. Actually, somebody is trying to hurt me. Nobody is trying to hurt you. Only you can hurt you because you have that kind of power. Deep divers, how to remove a curse and bad luck forever. Let's just say you go on Instagram today. Or you go on YouTube and someone has cursed you in the comments section. You mother... Now, if you argue with them, that curse stays with you. You see how it works? If you argue with them and you're vibrating at the same frequency, their bad luck energy can affect you. However, if you rise higher, their lower frequencies can no longer affect you. You see, to remove a curse or bad luck forever, you have to rise to a higher frequency and a higher vibration. 
The great Nikola Tesla said, if you want to understand the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. When you are on the higher plane, on the higher vibration, no curse or bad luck can affect you. Why? Because you are out of their energetic field. There's a reason why in ancient times you had oracles, okay? You had healers who would actually heal the sick with leprosy and all kinds of things. The general public was scared to even touch people with leprosy, but you had these nurses, these healers, these doctors who were able to touch these sick patients. Why didn't they get the... Why? Deep divers, why did not they suffer too. Why didn't they get the disease, deep divers? Why didn't they get the leprosy as well when they touched people with leprosy? Because they were vibrating on a high vibration. Deep divers? So realize today, if you want to remove a curse or bad luck forever, what I want you to start doing is to vibrate higher. And we do this seven day vegan challenge. Shout out to everybody who's putting a delicious mango in their mouth. Start eating to live. If you are eating tortured, butchered animals who didn't want to die all the time, processed meats which cause cancer, you are now inviting bad energy into your space. And that's why a lot of people have bad luck because they are eating karma. What goes around comes around. So. I had to learn this deep divers. Then I started to eat karma free foods. Stop eating foods which carry a heavy karmic debt. Because what goes around comes around. If an animal was in pain, which it was, and you are consuming that, that energy is never destroyed. Energy can only be transferred. And that's why a lot of people have attract curses and bad luck because of what they are consuming. Deep divers, how to remove a curse and bad luck forever. Set your intention. Anytime people are trying to send you bad luck or a curse, set your intention because your intention is more powerful than any curse or bad luck. I want you to say today who you want to be, where you want to be, and who you want to be with. Hold that intention for 30 seconds every single day and you will remove any curse or bad luck in your life. To remove a curse or bad luck forever, start change, start to change what you are feeding your mind, what you are listening to, what you are looking at, what you are consuming and start inviting more positive, loving vibrations into your space. You see, a curse and bad luck can only affect you when you are in the lower fear vibration. When you are in the lower fear vibration, that's when curses and bad luck affect you. Or when you are drunk, okay? Now, the alcohol, which is actually the spirits, that's why they call it spirits of negative entities, can affect your body and bring curses to you and bad luck. So you have to free your whole body, purify it every single day and say, actually, I'm at a high frequency. Nothing below me can affect me, can curse me, can wish me bad luck. Why? Because I came here to shine. Because I came here to shine, deep divers. And that's why we're just saying, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Beautiful deep divers. We're just woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Shout out to everybody who's been getting the amazing good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes got a question add me on instagram at infinite waters and the model searches on if you are sexy ooh, with a lot of heart dm me on instagram check out the new book deep divers for information like this feel alive by ralph smart on amazon have a beautiful day deep divers peace infinite waters diving deep once again stay well stay healthy peace you we are so curse free and bad luck free it's unbelievable we're just doing a little samba baby <laughs> peace